Good afternoon. Here is the national news from Media TV, Baba Bagidi Imo TV. I am your space buddy, Mori Wewebi Dawa. First, I have a video of headlines for the national news. Terrorist attack. Shame Sani names alleged topmost terror leaders. Who wonders why they can't be arrested. Terrorism. Why government should allow Nigerians to carry weapons? Shame Sani. Train attack. Bandits have declared war. Don't deserve to leave. Kill them all. Presidency. My teacher drove me to a hotel. Ritz threatened to kill me. A girl. Kano I Plokin, suspected 100 year old female cultist, two teenagers arrested. Gunmen attacked 50 Emo police station in Iman. Now the news in detail. Sheo Sani, a former federal lawmaker, has wondered how some terror leaders in the North, who are almost becoming household names, have remained elusive for authorities to arrest. According to the former Kaduna Central District lawmaker, those terror leaders even go about granting interviews to radio stations and newspapers in outside language but cannot be torched. According to him, characters such as Ben Letriji, Dogo Gide, Manjagara, and Bagari are the topmost northern terror leaders who have been moving around freely, planning and executing terrorist attacks successfully. Ben Letriji, Dogo Gide, Manjagara, and Bagari are the topmost northern terror leaders who have been granted radio and papers interviews in our outside language. But remain elusive authorities to arrest. I just don't get it, Sani Twitter. He added, there are 37 villages along Kaduna Abuja Road. If the government can recruit and, and engage the youth of these villages to protect the road and the rail track, it will be cheaper and more effective than blowing 71 billion naira in the name of surveillance or whatever solution system they call it. The call the government had suspected to be terrorists had recently bombed the Abuja Kaduna train on Monday night. Many passengers were said to have been initially kidnapped during the attack, including Zampara, state's former deputy governor, Malam Ibrahim Wakala Liman. Former Kaduna Central Senator Shea Usani has backed the call that Nigerians should be allowed to carry guns. Usani said if the government and security agents can squash terrorists and bandits in southern Kaduna and north, then people should be allowed to arm themselves. He noted that people of the area should be allowed to officially carry the same weapons as the terrorists. In a tweet, the social political activist said such gesture would ensure security within the area. He wrote, if the government and security agencies can't crush these terrorists and bandits, kidnapping and killing our people in northern and southern Kaduna, people should be officially allowed to carry some weapons and let's see who owns the land. The House of Representatives Majority Leader, Ado Dohua, and all the government to allow Nigerians to carry weapons in self-defense. Dogua said the call was due to the deteriorating security situation in the country. The lawmaker who represents Dogua Tupunwada, federal constituency of the country state, made a demand during plenary on Thursday. The House was debating the aftermath of the bombing of the Abuja Kaduna train by gunmen suspected to be terrorists earlier in the week. The presidency has said they blocked testy bandits who are currently on rampage across the country, particularly the North, do not deserve to leave, saying they should be killed. President Mohammed Buhari's spokesman, Femi Adeshino, who said that these in a statement on Friday while reacting to the attack on Abuja Kaduna rail track, said the assailants have declared war. According to him, despite what activists may say on abuse of the terrorists' rights to leave, they should be sent to hell. Additional said, I agree, those who visit evil on the society do not deserve to leave. No matter what some activists, activists may say, they should be sent to hell. I join the president to plead with our security agencies. Wipe them out, kill them, eliminate them. They have declared war against the country and its people. We are at war. Yes, we are. They do not deserve to leave. They have lost their humanity. Wipe them out, kill, eliminate. Then the post report that the Abuja Kaduna train attack, which claimed the lives of at least nine passengers with scores injured, while others were abducted, has continued to gain attention from concerned Nigerians. Recall that the Kaduna state governor, Governor Nasser Erufai, had on Thursday called for the bombardment of all the forests to eliminate all the criminal elements, saying that innocent people don't live in the forests. A 15-year-old student of Government Technical College, Ikorodu, names withheld and revealed how one of her teachers at the Femi Ademomi 
Under the Libra in a hotel in the area, and threatened to kill her if she told anyone. This is just a woman, Mrs. Happiness John, yesterday reported her husband, and where is he John, at the Kurdu Police Division, for allegedly having kind of knowledge of her 14 year old sister between November 2021 and February 2022. The 15 year old student who lives in the lower community in Kurdu has scattered was on her way to school on Monday when her teacher, who was driving in his car, offered to give her a ride to school, but he allegedly they taught and took her to an undisclosed hotel in the Kurdu, where he had forced his way into her. She was said to have opened up to her mother, who subsequently reported the case at the Kurdu Division, consequence upon which the Divisional Police Officer ordered the arrest of the father of one. Explaining the 15 year old girl, I didn't know where he was going on to the hotel in the Kurdu. He forced his way into me and said he would kill me if I told anyone. Women report husbands and the department of a sister related to policemen in Atikoradu yesterday arrested 38 year old Moise John, but allegedly molesting his 14 year old sister in law sexually in his Atikoradu apartment. The arrest of the father of three from Ebony State followed a complaint lodged by his wife, Happiness, that her husband had been sleeping with her sister since November last year and February 2022. Banger gathered that the bubble burst after the teenager who claimed she could no longer stand. The sexual molestation from a mechanical technician confided in her sister. The spokesman for the Lagos State Police Command, SP Benjamin O'Denny, confirmed both arrests. The police in Kano State have arrested a 100 year old suspected female ritualist, Fulreira Abubakar, and two others for allegedly poking out the, eye, the right eye of a 12 year old boy, Mustafa Yunusa. The other suspects are Isa Assad, 17, and Sani Abdurrahman, 16. The Kano State Police Public Relations Officer SP Abdullahi Abuna, in a statement on Thursday, said the Al Majuri boy was lowered into a corner where he decided to remove his left eyeball on the orders of the woman. The eyeball was to be used in preparing uh, is to, I beg your pardon, the eyeball was to be used in preparing an appear and disappear chair. The statement read on March 20, 2022, a report was received from a resident of Shinka. Then CK contest, Komboto local government area, Kano State, that an unknown person took one Mustafa Unisa 12 to Rimin Amza, Quartus Tarot, me, LGA Kano State, used a sharp knife and removed his right eyeball and fled with it to an unknown destination. The team immediately went to the scene and rushed the victim to the Muritula Mohammed Specialist Hospital, Kano, where a medical doctor confirmed that the eyeball of the victim was possibly removed with a sharp object and the victim was admitted to the hospital. And finally, the last story for the hour. Gunmen on Friday morning attacked the Mbiri Divisional Headquarters situated in the Mbiri local government area of Imo State. This is the fifth Divisional Police Headquarters gunmen at on since they renewed their hostilities in the state in the past one month. Gunmen burnt Okwele, Omoma, Isu, Omunguma, Divisional Police Headquarters killing two policemen burning several vehicles and releasing inmates in the last one month in the state. In the latest attack, indigenous told correspondent that the attackers arrived at Mbiri Divisional Headquarters around 3 a.m. and opened fire on the police facility. An indigenous of Mbiri living near the police divisional headquarters said that the attack was frightening. The source said, we did sleep last night, they arrived around 3 a.m. and the sounds of gunshot kept us awake till dawn. This is so scary. Another source told correspondent that hoodlums threw explosive divisions at the police station. That was the national news from DGI TV. But before we go, a quick recap of the headlines once again. Terrorist attack. Shea Hussani alleged topmost terror leaders wonders why they can't be arrested. Terrorism. Why government should allow Nigerians to scrap the weapons. Shea Hussani. Train attack. Bandits have declared war. Don't deserve to leave. Kill them all. Presidency. My teacher drove me to a hotel, raped and threatened to kill me, or a 15-year-old girl. Kano eye plucking, suspected 100-year-old female cultist, two teenagers arrested. Gunmen attacked fifth Imo police station in one month. These are the stories for the national news this hour. Thank you for watching. For more updates on our YouTube, the handle is Babakaide Imo TV. Kindly subscribe and click on the notification bell, select option all. On Facebook, Bagede Imo with Alawi Adebayo. Please like and follow the page. On Instagram, Bagede Imo underscore 22. 
For other perspective, the boot in service is covered of the break and function. The phone number streaming on the screen is the direct line to call strictly for other placements. Thank you for watching. I am Morbine Revida Lawa. Happy New Month. May the new months be progressive to all of our fans all over the world. This is a complimentary greeting from BGI TV. God bless you all. Oh, na -na -na -na. If you want to know what's going on in city, or you want to listen to the latest news and gist, no stress, oh, just tune to BGI TV. BGI TV. Yeah, I want in the media.